the Call the meeting of the Finance Committee to order for Monday evening, August 19, 2013. Councilors, Council Cruz had a, a previous appointment, so he could not be here this evening. He asked that I uh, run tonight's meeting, so I will do so. First order of business, uh, Madam Clerk, please call item number one. Order appropriation, $88,790.40 from the Plymouth County District Attorney's Office Fiscal Year 12 Justice Assistance Grant to the Brockton Police Fiscal Year 12 Justice Assistance Grant. These funds will be used to offset the cost of clinical social workers hired by the Police Department, grant fiscal management services, and those services of research and evaluator. In addition, funds will be set aside to purchase community policing supplies for events police overtime, and funds for travel and training. I invited John A. Condon, Chief Financial Officer, Emanuel C. Gomes, Chief of Police. Mr. Condon? I think the order uh, that was just read pretty much explains it. Uh, there's no match on this fund. Well, Make favor of recommendation. Second. Chairman, motion's on the motion. Motion's made and seconded on the motion. Uh, Councilor Brophy. Uh, Mr. Condon, is this federal dollars or state dollars? Uh, this is a uh, money from the Plymouth County District Attorney. Okay, and, and is that to a federal grant, do you know, or? The original source of it, I, I don't know the answer to that question. I can find out for you, Council, but I don't that, know off the top of my head. It just, I'm just curious. I mean, it's not um, <clears throat> anyway going to affect my vote. On I, it, I think it's from the, the DA, but whether his source is from federal money, I don't know. Okay, thanks. Thank you, Council. Any other questions, Councilors? If not, motion has been made and seconded to refer this back to the full City Council. All in favor? Opposed goes back to the full Council for uh, next Monday evening. Uh, item number two, Madam Clerk. Order appropriation $44,000 from the Commonwealth of Massachusetts Executive Office of Public Safety ES6 Local Action Research Grant to the Brockton Police ES6 Local Action Research Grant. These funds are used to help the Commonwealth evaluate the work being done by the communities with their, sh with their Shannon grants, which is the grants that funds youth and gang violence prevention, intervention, and suppression. There is no required match for this grant. Invited John A. Conan, Chief Financial Officer, Emanuel C. Gomes, Chief of Police. Mr. Condon. Uh, Councilors, this grant also has no match, and its purpose is to provide uh, reporting and oversight and analysis on the efficiency of the Shannon grants. Favorable recommendation. Second. <clears throat> Motions are made and seconded to refer back to the full city council. Any other questions, Councilors? Seeing as none, all in favor? Opposed? Goes back to the full uh, council. Uh, item number three, Madam Clerk. Order appropriation $5,600 from the Executive Office of Public Safety and Security, EOPS Highway Safety Division, Fiscal Year 2013 Traffic Enforcement Grant to the City of Brockton Police Department, EOPS Fiscal Year 11 Traffic Enforcement Grant Fund. An in-kind match of $1,400 is required. Invited John and Conn, Chief Financial Officer, Emanuel C. Gomes, Chief of Police. Okay, Councilors, this particular grant is for overtime money, for uh, high visibility uh, traffic enforcement. Uh, the match is an in-kind match, not an appropriation, and the source of the match is already appropriated funds uh, for the supervision of these offices already in the police budget. Motion to recommend Again. favorably. Again. Motion's been made and seconded. Uh, Councilor Brophy. Thank you. On, on the motion. Chief, if I could just ask you, is this money going to be used um, for the... Um, uh, impaired driving program coming up, or is it going to be used for something else? There, there are different initiatives that are put out by uh, the Department of Public Safety. Sometimes, as you've seen, it's been like the click of the ticket or drunk driving offenses. Sometimes it's school bus uh, violations during the day. Uh, with each one of these uh, movements that they have, and it's actually what they call it, a, a, a movement, when they, uh, when they target certain things, they let us know and we have to generate the data to qualify for any future events, if, if you understand that. We, we, we have to go out and, and address those issues, and then, and then they receive copies of the citations that we issue and all the action that we took uh, for reimbursement, and that helps us qualify for any, uh, any, any further uh, uh, impact movements that they have. So it's going to depend upon what the grant is for, what Correct. you're going to use it for. Correct. Um, I know it, there's been, uh, been made, people made aware of the fact that there, there will be impaired driving enforcement uh, in the, the month of August in Brockton. Yes. <clears throat> I'm, I'm hoping to see more uh, initiatives when it comes to enforcing the um, driving laws here in the city of Brockton. Um, one in particular that West Bridgewater is doing is the, um, the use of uh, cell phones to text. I, think it, it, I, I saw a gentleman the other day texting, and it wasn't a kid. It was a, a gentleman about my age sitting there going 20 miles an hour down the road, but you could tell he was, he was texting something. Right. Um, I think that um, the 
word has to go out there, and I think it, it, it's imperative to public safety is that we start doing some real tough initiatives on, on uh, curbing <coughs> the, some of the driving habits of the residents of the city and people who come into the city. So I hope maybe we can look at whatever funding sources you can get, and even just use of overtime, because you know Chapter 90 offenses, money does come back to the city on a Chapter 90 offense. Right. No, oh. I, I, I understand, and, and, I, and I hear you. And, and today we're seeing with, with uh, social media it's playing a big role. Um, the numbers keep going up and up. They're close to almost a 50% margin that uh, impaired driving through social media, cell phones, uh, anything of that nature. Uh, it's playing, a, playing a, that kind of role in them. Uh, so it's something, it's something that we're, we're out there for and we'll address. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Council. Any other questions, Council? Motion's been made and seconded to refer this back to the full City Council. All in favor? Opposed goes back to the uh, full Council for a review next Monday evening. Uh, item number four, Madam Clerk. Order that the Brockton City Council acting on behalf of the City of Brockton does hereby accept a grant of permanent easement for water purposes from Massachusetts Electric Company, a Massachusetts corporation with usual place of business at 40 Sylvan Road, Walm Waltham, Massachusetts 02451, extending from Lewiston Street to Portland Street as described in the grant of easement and agreement attached hereto. And further, that the City Council authorizes the Mayor to execute the attached grant of easement and agreement and to take other actions as necessary to carry out the terms, purposes, and conditions of the same. Invited Michael Thorson, DPW Commissioner, Lawrence Raleigh, Superintendent of Utilities, Christopher Raymond, Engineering Supervisor of National Grid, and or his designee. Councilors, uh, two notes here that uh, came, to, uh, came to the chair this evening that uh, Commissioner Thorson could not be here with us as he is on vacation. So. He's unable to attend this evening, and they also uh, also received an email in regards to a national grid um, not being able to uh, attend this meeting uh, this evening. We do have uh, uh, Mr. Raleigh here, Superintendent of Utilities, um, present to, to speak um, in regards to this matter. I know Councilor DiNapoli filed uh, this resolve, so we can listen to him afterwards. Go ahead, Mr. Raleigh. Thank you. Good evening, Councilors. Um, the purpose for this easement is to loop the water main from Portland to Lewiston. The reason for that is to increase the water pressure and reduce the discolored water in that, in the, on those two streets. Um, the easement's going to be approximately 15 by round off numbers 300 feet. And we're going to try to do that in-house. Any questions? Councilor DiNapoli. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Good evening, Mr. Raleigh. Thank you for Thank attending. You. This was a, just a, a, a quick rundown. This was, this has been in the process, what, for about two years, Larry, right? About a year and a half. Yeah, a year it's... and a half. So, I mean, long time coming. I really, really appreciate your help pushing this through. And the uh, the delay in this was the uh, the, the right-of-way from the Edison Company on the back. They own all the property in the back of Portland and Lewiston Street. So uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting this job done to increase the, uh, the water pressure and get rid of the rusty water that's at the end of the street. So I want to thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Welcome. Chairman. Thank you, Councillor. Any other questions, uh, Councillors? Councillor DiNapoli, you want to move it? Oh, I'm sorry. A motion, <laughs> a motion to uh, <laughs> make a recommendation favorably to the Second. full City Council. Second. Motion has been made and seconded to refer this back to the full City Council. All in favor? Opposed? Goes back to the full City Council for next Monday evening. Thank you, Mr. Raleigh, for being You're here. Councilor Zenia. Mr. Chair, moment Councilor of personal Sullivan. privilege, if I could. I wanted to uh, provide my colleagues an update. Uh, you know, just to refresh your memory, uh, I filed a resolve relative to the uh, Veterans Memorial Parks here in the city of Brockton, and uh, thankfully, my colleagues, we had a unanimous vote supporting that. I did speak to the mayor, Linda Balzotti, at the Council on Aging senior picnic last uh, Wednesday to get a status update. And uh, what I was told is uh, currently, uh, there's a sharing of duties uh, from uh, various departments relative to the maintenance. Uh, and then over time in the future, they will have a designation for a permanent plan. But right now, the maintenance and the upkeep in the grass is being cut and weed whacked, uh, and it is being a shared duty. Uh, so that is a benefit. And I, again, I want to thank the council for their support on that. And lastly, uh, just to, to let you know, I'm going to be filing a resolve relative to the air quality monitoring. <clears throat> Um, system at the Gilmore School. I'm going to work with my colleague in Ward 4, uh, Mr. Stadensky. There's been a significant, serious delay in the installation, as we all know, and I know Mr. Mullins, the Mayor's Chief of Staff, gave us a call uh, to give us an update saying it's uh, going to happen soon, but 
uh, to me, that's, that's not good enough. It should have happened months ago. And during the summer months, that's the worst air quality, and that's the best time to do an examination from a scientific standpoint. So I will be following a resolve at our next FENCOM. I will be inviting the uh, relative uh, people to come before us. And if anybody uh, that wants to sign on, I, I, I would welcome your support on that. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Councilor Sullivan. <coughs> Councilor Moynihan. Mr. Chairman, thank you. Moment, Chris. Uh, this you. Thursday, August 22nd at 6.30 at the Arnold School, we'll be having a public safety meeting. Myself, Councilor Cruz, and uh, Councilor DiNapoli, along with uh, the mayor, are going to sponsor it. Uh, the chief will be there. So uh, anybody that has any concerns, you want to, obviously, the, the recent uh, shootings and stabbings and what have you, uh, that's been uh, a little uptick in the city. Uh, if you want to come and voice your concerns, they'll be there to answer your questions and see what, uh, see what they can do for you. So that's this Thursday, <coughs> 6.30 at the Arnold School. Thank you. Thank you. you. Thank you, Councilor. Councilor DiNapoli. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Well, we're in a personal privilege. Yes, you may, Councilor. Uh, as, you, as you are aware out there, uh, the general public, that uh, Councilor Sullivan, uh, about uh, three, four, five months back, uh, we uh, acquired all the street lights in the city of Brockton. And uh, we ran into a, a little little snag, and I want to let everybody know that we did hire a company. They're under contract, and I got lights turned on in my ward this week. So if anybody's out there that wants street lights hooked up or the street light is out, take the poll number down. You can call any one of your counselors, and we'll turn that light back on for public safety. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Welcome, Councilor. Mr. Chair. If I could, just to piggyback on my, uh, my colleague, yes, uh, just point of information, uh, what the city did, again, the delay was not on the city council's behalf. I got a lot of calls from constituents finger pointing at us. It was not on the city council. Um, but thankfully, the mayor's office did put out an RFP, and they did decide to go with a local in-house Brockton uh, business uh, electrical company here in the city of Brockton. So we are going to have timely responses. And uh, I think it's about time. So thank you, Council, for mentioning that tonight. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Council. Council of Annapoli did make it sound like the switch was in my kitchen. So I <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> thank you for the phone calls. But uh, in any case, any other business councilors? <laughs> Reminder, next Monday evening, full city council right here in this chamber is at uh, 8 o'clock p.m. Seeing no other business, meeting adjourned. Thank you. Wait.